In this video, we're going to talk about the elements of art, which are the building blocks for any drawing or painting that we create. So let's start by opening up our exercise file. I'm going to go to File and then Open. I don't need to save this document here. And I'm going to click on Documents. And then I'm going to go over here to Sketchbook Drawings. And I want to select Elements of Art.tiff and then press Open. Let's zoom in and talk about our first term. So I'm going to hold down the space bar and I'm going to zoom in on line right here. Okay, so a line is a path made by a moving point through space. Lines can be long, short, wavy, straight, thick, zigzag, curly. What a line cannot be is it cannot be enclosed. So if I were to draw a little line right here and connect this, now this line is enclosed, it's enclosed, and now it's a shape, okay? So I'm gonna undo that. Okay, so let's draw some examples of different types of lines. And to do that, I wanna bring up my layer editor. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna click and hold, and go down to layers. So here's my layer editor. I have two layers, I have my outline, and I have my color layer, okay? I wanna create a new layer, okay? I'm gonna to go to add layer, and I'm just gonna call this line practice okay and now what I want to do is I'm gonna take my outline layer and I want to lock that layer I'll take my color layer and I want to lock that layer as well because I don't want to modify these layers I only want to modify the new layers that I'm creating I'm just gonna move over a little bit so let's create some lines so we can draw uh, a long line and to draw a straight line horizontally or vertically I'm gonna hold down the shift key so I'll hold down shift Draw a long line, hold down shift, draw a short line, okay? Lines can be long, short. We could have a diagonal line, and for this diagonal, I'm not holding down shift. I'm just freehand drawing that, okay? There's my diagonal. So we can have, uh, I'm gonna hold down shift, draw a horizontal, and then hold down shift and draw a vertical. So this vertical is perpendicular to the horizontal line. So lines can be curved. They can be wavy, a zigzag. We can have a dashed line, right? Or we could have a dotted line. So here are some examples of different types of lines that you can work with. Now I'm gonna hold down V and just move this over just a little bit and reposition it on the line layer, okay? So let's go down to shape. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna rename this to shape practice. When a continuous line meets at both ends, it forms a shape. Now shapes can be geometric or they can be organic. As long as the line reconnects, the end of the line reconnects to the beginning of the line, and as long as it's two-dimensional, it's considered a shape. So I'm gonna go up to Window, and I'm gonna bring up the toolbar, and I wanna show you a new tool. Right over here, if I click on this, I have the option to create a line, a rectangle or square, or a circle. Now with the oval tool selected, what I'll do is I'll click and drag on the canvas, and I'll get this dotted line that's a preview. When I have the shape that I want, I'll release the pen from the surface, and you can see I now have a solid line. Now when I draw that, the line is very thick, and if I wanna change the thickness, I'm gonna to have to change the size of my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to, down here, I'm gonna bring up the brush palette. So I have my inking pen selected. If I double click on, the inking pen, tap twice. You see I can change the size of the pen. It can be thin or thick. So let's take it down to two and then close this. So with the smaller brush size, I'll go back to the oval tool. I'll go to my canvas. I'm gonna click and drag. You can see there's a circle, I'll undo. So now I sort of have the right brush size to use the tool. If I want a perfect circle, I can hold down the shift key and that way it will give me a perfect circle. Now let's say I wanna move this. I'll hit M for my marquee selection tool, and I'll hold down V, and I'll move this over, okay? 
So there I've drawn a circle. I'm gonna go back over here to my drawing style and I'm gonna select the rectangle tool. Now I can click and drag and create a rectangle or if I want, I can hold down shift and I can click and drag to create a square. Now over here I have a line tool and I'm gonna click and drag at a diagonal, right? And once I let go, I have a line. I'll click and drag going this way. And I'll click and drag going from here to here. And then I'll just use my eraser to clean up my work here. Now you can see it doesn't really work because I have this drawing style selected. So I'm gonna turn that off. And now my eraser is showing up normally again. And I wanna make the eraser smaller. So I'll double click here, bring the size down on the eraser. And I'll erase, okay. So here we have some geometric shapes, but we're not limited to that, right? So a shape can be anything. It can be, um, it can be like a weird shape like this. It can be something like that, right? So it could have angles, it can have curves can be anything you want, right? As long as it's enclosed, it's a shape, okay? We could have something like, um, right? These are all shapes as long as they're enclosed, okay? So let's now go to form, okay? So a shape is two-dimensional. It has a height and a width. Forms are three-dimensional, so that's an object that you can hold in your hand or something that you can walk around in the real world. All of those things that you interact with are three-dimensional forms. So how do we go from a shape like a circle to a sphere which has the appearance of being three-dimensional, of occupying space in the world? So what I wanna to do to show you how to draw um, a sphere is I wanna show you a new tool. And the new tool is called the ellipse tool. It's this button right here on the toolbar. So over here, the ellipse tool just popped up. If you go to the center of the tool and you click and drag, you can move it around your screen. So I'm just gonna move it over here. Right now, the ellipse tool is in an oval shape. If I double click on this button here, it has two arrows pointing at each other. If I double click on that, it'll go to a circle. Now, when you bring this up, it might already be a circle. If you want to make the ellipse tool larger or smaller, you can use the scale button right here. So I can click and drag to scale up or down, okay? I can rotate by clicking on this button. I'm clicking and dragging on this button right here. If I wanna close the ellipse tool, I can press on this button. So I'll bring it back up. So I'm just gonna draw a circle right here, okay? So draw in my circle. And then what I wanna to do to make this circle appear to be a, a three-dimensional spherical form is I'm gonna click on this button. I'm gonna click and drag and turn it into an ellipse. I'm actually gonna zoom in on this. I'm gonna hold down the space bar and zoom in. You'll notice that the ellipse tool doesn't follow as we zoom. That's okay, I can just scale up right here and I can move this over, scale up some more. So here's, this is the interesting thing. If I draw in a line going from here to here, okay, I'm gonna close the ellipse tool. We already have, get the sense that this circle might actually be a three-dimensional object because we've drawn this sort of line, like we've drawn the equator around the Earth. I'm gonna zoom back in and I'm gonna bring the ellipse tool back up and I'm gonna rotate this ellipse tool 90 degrees, right? So I'm gonna make this line, this, this line horizontal right here, so. If I look down at the bottom of the screen, rotation should say 270, okay? So as we rotate around, you can see there's a number displaying, right? So here, if I rotate 180 degrees, now we're at 90. Okay, 
So what I want to do is just scale this down, move this into place, scale it down some more. Okay, I'm going to draw another line going through here like this. Okay, so now it feels even more three dimensional. Okay, but I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to bring the ellipse tool back up. I'm going to scale so that it fits the shape here. And uh, on the back side, on the side of the object that we wouldn't see, I'm going to put in a dashed line. Okay. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And I'll put a dashed line going this way. And this is called drawing through. You're sort of suggesting the form by drawing these lines all the way around. Okay. So now it sort of feels like we have a wire frame of our sphere. All right, let's try and draw a cube. I'm going to go up here to my rectangle tool. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hold down shift, click and drag a box, right? I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And now I'm going to switch from the um, rectangle to the line tool. And I'm just going to draw some lines going back at sort of at the same angle. So I'm going to try and make these two lines parallel, right? So if I draw it like this, those two lines are not parallel. So I want to draw something like this, right? And then another line here, I want these two lines to be have the appearance of being parallel. Now I want a vertical line. So I'm going to hold down shift, click and drag, go up. And then I'm going to hold down shift again and click and drag and go left. Okay. So here we have the appearance of a cube, right? Now if I wanted to draw through here, I could add another line going down here a line going over right here, and a line connecting right here, right? So now if I wanted to clean up and actually make the cube, I could put the dotted lines sort of in the lines that we shouldn't see. So I could turn this off, take my eraser, erase a little bit here, a little bit right here, a little bit over here, and right in here. Just erase a little bit here. Okay. Erase a little bit right here. Okay. So if I want to change the size of my eraser, I can double click on the eraser. I can change the size here. I also have the option to change the size by using a hotkey. I can use the bracket keys on the keyboard. The bracket keys are next to the letter P. P as in polo. Okay, so I will use the bracket key on the right side to go larger. You can see the size increasing down here, right? So larger, bracket right, smaller, bracket left. Okay, so I'm going to erase here and here. So now I'm making all these little eraser marks on some of the lines on the cube. Now I'm choosing these lines based on if each of the faces of cube were colored in with color. The dashed lines are the lines that we wouldn't be able to see. So there we have our cube. Let's do one more. Let's do a pyramid. Um, I'm going to switch over here to my line tool. I'm going to also make sure I have my pen selected. I'm going to draw in a horizontal line. And then I'm going to offset another horizontal line. I'll connect these two lines with a diagonal. And then the next line will be at the same angle as the previous line. Okay, so now I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to erase here. Erase right here and right here. I'll use the bracket keys to go larger with the eraser. And then I'm just going to estimate the middle of the shape right here. I'm going to draw a line going straight up. And then I'll go back to my line tool 
And I'm just going to have these other lines meet with that line. All right. And then I'll go in with my eraser and I'll erase this line. Okay. So there we have our pyramid. I'm just going to scale this down a little bit so it matches with the other shapes. Now I forgot to put the form practice on its own layer, so I'm going to press M for my marquee tool. I'll select these three forms. I'll press Command X to cut, and then Command V to paste. Close that. So now I have this on its own separate layer, and I can rename this to form practice. All right, so that's all the time we have for the lesson today. We'll continue with this lesson in the next video. For now, let's save it. I'm gonna to go to File and then Save As, whatever period you're in, your last name, comma space, first name, and then Elements of Art, okay? and then you can click on the blue save button right here. And then in the next video, we'll complete this exercise.